give you an idea. That is a theoretical definition of capital asset. In general, your car, your house, your mutual funds, your bonds, your debentures, your plot of land, your agricultural land, all these are capital assets. Okay? Type of capital gains, short term and long term capital gains. Based upon your holding pe period, if you are booking profits or loss on your capital assets, these are parted into short term capital gain and long term capital gain. Eligible holding period, in case of equity and equity match mutual fund, the holding period is different and for any other capital asset, the holding period is different. If your equity based assets, that is your equity mutual fund as well as equity stocks, your direct company stocks traded in exchange where SPT has been paid, the short term capital gain tax rate is 15.45%. Whenever you are investing in funds like HDFC top 200, IQ, Focus, Blue Chip, Quantum Long Term Equity, Franklin India, Blue Chip, IDFC, Equity, all those equity funds when you are investing and if you are booking a profit within one year, holding period is less than one year. It is the duty of AFC fund company to deduct STT and due to this STT, any profit is subject to tax at 15.45%. This tax is to be paid by you. AFC is not going to pay your tax. This 15.45% Irrespective of your tax level, you may be 10% tax level, you may be 20, you may be 30, but the short term capital gain tax on equity and equity mutual fund assets when STT is applied is 15.45%. When equity uh, short term capital gain tax for non equity based assets, your debt funds, your bonds, your debentures, house, agricultural land, sorry, uh, plot. Residential plots, all these are classified under this short term capital gain and it is taxable at your slab rate. Holding period 1 to 3 year. Here holding period was 0 to 1 year. Here holding period is 0 to 3 year. Other than equity and equity mutual fund, holding period for short term capital gain is 0 to 3 year and it is taxed at your slab rate. Sorry, 